Hello and welcome to Gardening with Soul. I'm doing a lady slipper euphorbia. Another thing about euphorbias and that is their milky sap and I misspoke it isn't technically a sap. They have sap which is the sugar water that feeds the plant and that runs in sap veins and this milkiness comes out of latissifers or uh, latex producing cells that are all the way around the plant and thus if anything even takes just a little nibble they get this milky sap. Now you can also see this milky sap in of all things lettuce. Lettuce has latissifers in it. <laughs> uh, it's just it's a nice hummingbird plant. It tolerates our heat, low water, um, where it's growing here is next to our parking area, and I call this my Ocotillo Alley. Back east they have alleys, which are like lines of trees that you wander through, and I'm going to swing you around here and hope you can see my Ocotillo Alley or Ali. bit more on on the uh, lady slipper euphorbia and um, in the shade where I can see what uh, I'm actually recording I, I did want to show you once again the flower and it's a very interesting flower and sometimes it is laying on the stem sideways like this time and sometimes you'll see it this way and that's the more um, usual way. And the nectar is back up in this spur here. Fix their beak in right there. Let's get a little stick to show you. Comes in and puts their beak in to get the nectar that's way up here. They come in and they get the pollen all over their chin as they do this. And uh, hopefully they fly on to the next uh, petalanthus, excuse me, lady slipper, and uh, pollinate it. Now, you may have noticed this structure dangling down here. That is actually the fruit. Um, once upon a time, this was pointed up in the air where it could get the pollen from the chin of the hummingbird pollinating and once it got pollinated once it started to develop seeds it relaxed and it's getting down out of the way and basically uh, there's some hormones that go on and um, the plant says oh I am done producing pollen I'm not gonna make any more I've already got my I'm making my babies here I don't need to spread my genes anymore. I need to spend my energy on making baby seeds. So that's the Petalanthus, excuse me, that's the Lady Slipper flower. It's a very unique and beautiful flower. It's a kind of interesting orangey red, and it is a, a definite hummingbird magnet. So, great plant to have in the garden. Now, you don't need to go out and buy them. They're very expensive, I will say that. That's because they're popular. So plants people <laughs> who are in the trade, hey, they need to pay their mortgage too. So now that there's a demand, they're scrambling to keep up and the ones that are out in the nursery trade are a tiny bit expensive. Uh, 